here. Okay. I would like to uh, welcome you all to the 56th annual meeting of the Preservation of Historic Winchester. An unusual meeting. You not? No. Hello? It's, it's just going this, go, this goes in there. This goes, this goes in there. It's okay. Log in online. That's yes. okay. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, it's an unusual meeting for unusual times. Um, we have uh, a variety of news about what's happened this year. This has been a quiet year, even though we do things every day. And as we say every year, for many years, what we do is because of what Sandra does every day. And we'll talk about some of those things. <coughs> Excuse me. But we have, uh, we have uh, the sad news that you all have gotten yesterday about the passing of Ed Acker's wife. Uh, and we were going to mourn Ed's loss. He left us in January. And we'll talk about that later on in the meeting, but we want to note that from the outset that uh, we miss Ed. We give him our commiseration for the loss of his wife. Um, the, the first order of business is the proposed bylaws amendment. Those were sent out to the membership. Um, and the basic change, the reason for the basic change is that to verify that we can meet electronically. There is some cleanup language of some other language, but that's the main reason. Are there any questions or comments? And if, or is there a motion to approve the proposed changes as sent out? I move we approve the changes to the bylaws. We have a motion, and uh, George, Second. George seconds it. Uh, any discussion or questions besides what I've already said? We've already had a couple of Zoom meetings, and uh, that we just want to make sure that that what we're doing, we th we believe we have the authority to do so. We want to change the bylaws to verify that for sure. Any questions or comments? There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Um, Mary Riley, our, our uh, treasurer, has a treasurer's report, and she'll make some comments about the status of the finances. Okay. Staying down here. Um, we had a good year financially. Uh, I have copies of the preliminary fiscal year-end report, which you're welcome to pick up. There are a few changes. Those of you who are on the board, you saw the preliminary, another preliminary version. I have recategorized some of the donations that we received um, since there, there were some unusual ones this year. So there are different line items for the money that we received to support the publication of the Winchester Limestone book and also to set up a scholarship fund uh, in memory of Sherry Bosley. So those are now separate line items shown here. Um, Investment-wise, we're doing fine. Our investments are roughly 70% in short-term bonds and the remainder in stocks, which of course have been down and up and down and up this year, but we're in pretty good shape. Um, we did receive, as you, I think you all know, a PPP loan and the amount of the loan was $8,300, which covers two and a half months worth of payroll. And we're hoping that that loan will be forgiven and that that will take the pressure off this year because we will not be having the holiday house tour as our major fundraiser. So the financial report looks a little bit different than usual, but I think, uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. I also have here copies of last year's financial report from the accountant and that's for the fiscal year ended May of 2019. So it takes a while to get these so we're a year behind on that but you have them both available if you would like them. Thank you Mary. I'd like to uh, thank Mary for her efforts again this year. What she did not mention was that she has in her usual fashion, she has skillfully um, switched some of our assets around to keep us balanced between uh, ownership of uh, equities or stock 
in bronze and so our return has actually been pretty good this year despite the uh, financial problems so we thank her for all of her efforts as she's done for such a long time uh, what I'd like to do now is to uh, hold my uh, annual report until the end we, I'd like to go ahead with the election of the bo Board of Directors and Officers for 2020-2021. Uh, I'll just read from our, our uh, announcement. Nominees for election re-election re to the board for a two-year term. Uh, Bruce Downing is president. John Barker is past president. Mary Scully Riley is treasurer. Uh, directors who terms will, uh, will uh, expire in 2021. Patrick Rogers, assistant treasurer, and he is gracefully and graciously uh, agreed to be vice president as well. Uh, Ed Acker, we want to recognize him again uh, as vice president for education. That's a slot that's open. We encourage any of the people who are watching the live stream uh, to think about that. We've had a very active, strong education component for the last several years, thanks to Ed, and we're looking for someone to fill his shoes. Jim Stewart, uh, vice president for issues and advocacy. Rose Eberhardt, Kelly Fitzwater, Heather Merchant, Ann Scully, and Dan Whitaker. Uh, is there a motion to approve the election of those directors and those officers? Ann has said uh, she moves. Is there a second? Patrick seconds it. Any, any additions or comments? There being none, all in favor say aye. All opposed? We have an election. Uh, and i uh, like to give uh, some comments about the past year. It's been an unusual year, but we remain active every day, <coughs> thanks to Sandra's efforts. Uh, and she'll talk about some of the things that she's done, but I do want to mention uh, the efforts that she put in, many hours she put in uh, on the reprint of the, uh, the Limestone book, thanks to a generous uh, donation by an anonymous donor. We were able to re republish that book. And again, uh, it calls to mind how special the, the houses of Winchester are, the structures are, and the town itself, and what we continue to do every day. And we have a, a, a number of those we, we have distributed to city council, uh, and we continue to educate uh, members of government as to what we do and the importance of preservation in Winchester. Uh, other activities, regular activities, are walking tours that Sandra participates at all these events that are downtown and have been downtown. Uh, Friday Night Live, Celebration, and Oktoberfest as well. Um, we had a very successful, the final uh, event on Ed Acker's uh, presentations on education, Why Old Places Matter. The author of Why Old Places Matter came, had a big crowd, a very good response, and had a pretty good sale of his book as well. Uh, we participated in uh, the many activities for the 275th anniversary of Winchester, um, and we've uh, addressed uh, questions that come regularly to Sandra about preservation issues, demolition issues, and, and the attendance at the, at the BAR. Uh, we also again want to recognize um, all the efforts on behalf of PHW of Sherry Bosley, and we're happy to honor her with this uh, scholarship fund, which is now over $3,000, and ask continued uh, donations. We look forward to starting up that program in the near future. Uh, Sandra, would you like to make some comments about your activities this year? So, like usual, I'm the first point of contact for pretty much any question that comes through PHW. So, I get a variety of things from, how do I research my house? Am I in the historic district? Can I apply for tax credits? Um, I've had genealogy questions. I've had basic, how do I find this random piece of information? Or what is my house named after? So it's always different. There's always, you know, something new every time I get a question from the public. Um, I also spend a lot of time monitoring, watching BAR, sitting in on that, which has been a challenge, obviously, with the pandemic because now everything is virtual. And then throughout the year, um, it might not seem like it, but a lot of my work is taken up with the Ballon Doe Shop. So last year, I believe we had about 38 artists all told. And pretty much right after we finish annual meeting, I will be in Ballon Doe Shop mode. And I will be setting up for next year and figuring out where people will be displaying their goods and um, jurying new artists that come in. 
Uh, this year we're also, uh, because of the pandemic, going to have an online component to the shop so that hopefully we can get people to order in advance and use curbside pickup and we can you know, try to limit some of the exposure they might have from being in an enclosed space in the winter. So that's, that's kind of my day-to-day -day usual existence. It's never the same thing twice. And as always, we are looking for a few good people to join with us in the work of preservation in Winchester. We want to thank the members of the board who have been faithful throughout this strange time in all the Zoom meetings. And we want to encourage people who are watching live stream today to think about getting involved. We can work on the board of directors. We can work in various activities. But we need your help to be successful in Winchester. Are there any other matters to be brought before the membership? Again, we apologize for uh, lack of uh, refreshments. I don't know how to do refreshments in the new time. I, I don't know. Otherwise, BYOB, but uh, we're, we're happy that we have good weather today. We appreciate your coming. We thank for all the time and effort you put on behalf of pre uh, preservation in Winchester. Thank you.